hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat and the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome thank you so much for joining me this channel is about reselling primarily on eBay that is my top performing platform and today I am going to show you 30 items that have sold on eBay and mainly Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace has been very good to us lately. These are a lot of very, very common items that I feel like you can find pretty easy and they flip for a profit pretty fast. So let's take a look. All right, guys. So I do want to say we have the 543 going out. That is still about half of what we would normally do on a weekend. So it is still slow compared to our average. I know that wouldn't be slow for a lot of you, but for us with our store volume, it is. We do have almost 2,700 items listed now. So first up, it's going to be a DVD. This is Buffalo Soldiers. It sold for $5. I paid 30 cents each for these DVDs. And I actually have my niece coming over and working on these as well as Brad is working on listing them because I bought about a thousand and we sold quite a few. So I'm going to be showing you those. But with me paying my niece to list that pulls about a dollar out of the profit. So they're actually now going to be about a three dollar profit, but that is still OK. Up next is an item that started as kind of a low ball offer. I had this listed at thirty five dollars. The buyer offered me fifteen. And instead of my normal, I normally will reject if it's less than half. I'm like, let me counter them at 25 bucks. So, or actually, I added it at, I added it at 42. I added it at 42. So let me counter them at 35. So I countered them at 35. They came back at 20, which was a $5 jump. So that was pretty decent. And then they, I countered them back at 20. 27 and they actually accepted so a $15 lowball offer turned into a $27 sale 42 with tax I paid five dollars this is a really cool poisoné squash it is a little trinket box pretty big and it I'm not sure whose fifth anniversary but it does say fifth anniversary on there and this one will be over a $20 profit that started as a lowball offer so don't if they're close to half, I would say you should counter. Um, if they're way below half, I definitely would decline if it were me and everybody has kind of their only their own process of how they deal with those lower offers. But that one turned into a pretty fast sale with over a $20 profit. Up next, and then these I feel like are at garage sales and thrift stores all the time. So this Pyrex, I got in a box lot on auction i'm only a couple dollars in i will show you there it does say pyrex so you can look it up this one is a three quart and i paid a couple bucks it sold for 25 dollars plus shipping the buyer is 40 dollars all in and we're making close to a 20 dollar profit on this can up next these are two little sanding pads they were originally 6.68 9.98 sold two for 5.48 free shipping I got them pretty much for free. Shipping will be about four, so this is only a dollar profit, and we've had them over a year. So I'm glad that they're going, but I probably would not list something like that again unless I had like 10 of them where I could make like a $15, $20 profit. Up next is this bowl. I did list this as smoky green, and it's got a really pretty pattern. I put um, starburst crystal or glass cut bowl with like the starburst there this one sold for $16 plus shipping the buyer's actually 36 all in because this will be over two pounds and I bet they're on the west coast so I only paid a dollar for this and this will be about a $13 profit up next another DVD so this one actually is brand new this is the Incredible Hulk again the 30 cents and three dollar profit because my niece listed it sold in less than two days though so i am happy with that up next are some spoons so you can see i'm gonna actually take one of these out so you guys can kind of see what these look like these i made a lot of money on and these are actually the last ones it's almost like a bamboo looking and the name of these is stanley roberts 
and this is safari pattern and i found that out by looking on google lens these sold for seven dollars plus shipping the buyers 13 all in but i am only like a quarter into these from a silverware lot at my local thrift store so keep an eye out for silverware especially if it looks different like you can see these i sell like bamboo handled ones and if it's pure silver not like real silver but if it is silver colored and looks well made i would also look and see if those are marked as well next are some pepsi cups so these are from the 1960s it is a set of four i'm way in the profit because somebody actually bought all the coke ones for a couple hundred bucks i only paid 20 dollars originally for everything these sold for 11 dollars plus shipping the buyers 19 dollars in on these four paper cups so watch your paper products as well especially if they are advertising and you can find them cheap this is stuff i feel like you'd find like in a barn sale that somebody just has tossed in there up next are some stamps so you can see these all actually are like little lambs i bought a big box of these like over 20 pounds from shop goodwill i'm pennies and these sold for 7.49 plus shipping the buyer is 13 all in and we'll make about a five dollar profit so with the stamps if you can get a bunch for really cheap i would probably pick them up because you can separate them by like genre or animal or holiday and you can get like 10 to 15 bucks for most lots there are some bolos out there of a really high priced selling stamps as well up next are some tiny little baby pants aren't they so cute so cute well they're little newborn they are new i got these actually at the auction where i got this shipping shelf that you see behind me it was a florida gator store that was going out of business and i paid a less than a dollar for these probably 50 cents and they sold for six dollars plus shipping the buyers 10 all in and we'll make about a five dollar profit on those little gator pants up next is some pyrex and there's actually another pyrex going out but the crazy thing about about these this is the one that was on the inside this is the other one and these two were listed on my nurse flipper store for about eight months and they didn't move and this kind of it makes me think because i ended all of my nurse flipper store listings to put into my main store which is now called the nurse flipper store and these sold within two weeks so they actually sold for 36 plus shipping the buyers 52 all in only paid a few dollars for these in a box lot so keep an eye out for pyrex unfortunately with pyrex most people that have pyrex know what they have and that means you're not going to be able to get it cheap i don't really know all of the patterns there are some that are much more sought after but you might get lucky at a garage sale or a thrift store that they don't price them up and in that case you can use google lens to search for what pattern your pyrex is and then once you find out what that pattern is on google lens you just type the pattern name into ebay to see what the comps are we also have a full-size mattress topper going out to mandy you can see over there on my whoa on my counter there so i'm sold out except for full but mandy got that one for 35 free shipping and mandy that will be going out to you today so thank you so much for your purchase up next this is a sour egg really cute trinket box here try and take it out to show you really pretty enamel i paid ten dollars for this i had it at like forty dollars but it wasn't selling and it comes with the stand and then it comes with this little necklace that matches it. it's pretty cute i still have i think four or five of these left in different colors so somebody sent me an offer of 32 i've had it for a while i went ahead and accepted still almost a 20 dollars profit but it did take about eight months for it to sell so it took a little longer but i got these in a lot with some halcyon days that sold very high and sold very fast so keep an eye out for some of those enamel trinket boxes especially if you can get them for cheap next and this is going out to a viewer mama duck clipper tina got this season of dharma and greg for 14 plus shipping she has 18 dollars all in this is actually one of the dvds that i listed so i didn't pay my niece to list this and this will be about a 12 dollar profit after fee so tina i really do appreciate your purchase thank you so much and then another dvd <laughs> 
this one is in a blockbuster case which i'm wondering if it helped it sell a little faster this one is joe dirt which i do love that movie this one sold for six plus shipping the buyer's 10 all and my niece did list this one so it's going to be about a three dollar profit on that this dvd was a mistake so this is heroes of the east it sold for 99 cents 99 cents because when my niece is making the drafts i told her she wasn't sure on price to put 99 cents and then i would look it up which means it was worth more than our standard like eight bucks that we're doing and i was like processing her drafts so quick that i didn't catch this it sold like five minutes for 99 cents i actually still making like 50 cent profit because i only paid 30 cents but slow down if you're reviewing drafts or when you're doing your prices just double check everything before you click submit your listing or you might be selling stuff for 99 cents that is worth a little bit more up next these are bionic which is a name that you should look out for with shoes they actually have a great resale value but these are brand new for my qvc palette these sold for 23 plus international shipping we're only a few dollars in so we'll make about an 18 dollar profit and i think that buyer is close to 45 or 50 dollars all in on those shoes so we've had them over a year it took a little while and i want to talk a little bit about having my niece working for me my mom actually asked me because my niece lost her job if those dings that's the second one i've heard those are stuff selling on facebook marketplace my mom is inside cross posting there's always some stuff that sells really fast on facebook marketplace so my mom told me my niece lost her job and could she do anything and my mom said she really didn't want to lose her like side money working for me because my mom does cross listing for me so i told her i would have my niece try to learn to post and so i've started her on the dvds and the reason i did that and i think this is a good idea for anyone who is looking for someone to help them is i the dvds are easy they have barcodes she can scan them she can learn to sell a similar i do have her using bizarre to put different color backgrounds just because i want her to get used to using bizarre and i told her if she gets bored with the dvds let me know and then i'll teach her the other otherwise she can just keep listing the dvds until they're gone and at that point we will start to review like some of the other stuff and um as an example and i'm going to show you this in a minute but if somebody was helping me like that says pyrex made in usa like she could put blue she could put the size to, tr to try and find similar items but one of the things that's really hard with some of the items that I sell is that they're very unique and it would be hard for somebody who's not familiar with them to find something similar to sell on eBay. So as this kind of grows and progresses, I will have to kind of teach her about the items that I'm listing in order for her to list them. So it is a long process. I did actually have her pull with me today because my ultimate goal would be able to have her kind of run this where if i want to take a vacation like we're going to the reseller rally um stuff could keep running and not be put on hold or put on vacation mode and i think that would be an excellent excellent thing so far she has done amazing and picked up very fast and i'm very happy with how that's going up next and this is like an old work shirt <laughs> it actually has the name terry on it it has some splatter because it is an auto parts store this still sold for nine dollars plus shipping the buyers eighteen dollars all in on this discount auto parts shirt i don't know if they want it to like work if they actually work there or people could use it for like a costume or something like that but that is over a eight dollar profit for me i got a whole rack of like work shirts button up some leathers for twenty dollars at an in-person auction a couple years ago but they are still making me profit which is great up next is some ephemera so this is a little virginia hotel guide this is from 19 39 i am pennies in this one sold for 11 bucks plus shipping the buyers 18 all in so we will make close to a 10 dollar profit so keep an eye out for the ephemera i feel like it doesn't make it to the shelves at most thrift stores however at garage sales and estate sales you very likely could come across them up next and i just picked this up this was a very very fast seller 
this is like a hand painted wood plate i think i got it for two dollars at the thrift store it might have been three but i feel like it was two and it's over 32 dollars plus shipping the buyers 45 all in and this is a 28 dollar profit under a week so keep an eye out like i put swans i put flowers i put hand painted wood plate you got to be really descriptive so people can find your items guys that is how stuff sells you have to make sure those titles are good use all 80 characters and just add descriptive words in there whether it makes sense or not at the end if you look at some of my titles over on instagram where i screenshot item you're going to see the end of the title a lot of times does not make sense it's just me throwing keywords in there to fill up those 80 characters Next. this is this doll this is our generation i'm not sure if she's target or walmart i just paid like Ooh, like a dollar or so for her she sold for 11.75 plus shipping it did take about four and a half months and the buyer is 16 all in we'll make about nine dollar profit on her i was hoping they were american girl but i didn't know what i was looking at still still not a bad profit um, next is my example of pyrex this one which speaking of pirates i hope you enjoyed the live show last night um tim over the years amazing with glass and he loves pyrex so if you didn't catch that show last night definitely go check out the replay with myself tim uzma gorgeous and dale flip and fiasco made a little appearance as well so definitely go check that out so this bowl was in a buyout from theme i paid a dollar for this it sold for 26 plus shipping the buyers 42 all in and we'll make about a 22 dollar profit on that up next is a board game so this is flamme rouge i check out the board games not familiar with the names because i figure they're probably going to be less mass marketed this one sold for 25 plus shipping the buyer was 35 all in and the thing with that one is that I kept getting lowball offers and I only paid $2 and it sold for the 25 plus shipping. So I'm making about a $20 profit on it, but I kept getting lowballed and I knew there were only like two or three listed and I just kind of held out for that acceptable price, which I did accept the offer of 25. And then this is really cute and I knew these would sell and it hasn't even been a month. This is a really pretty, I'm going to make it close so you guys can see it's a cross stitch barn it actually has the name so it was sunset designs this was a pattern and it is framed in a little eight by ten the actual cross stitch is five by seven that one's over twenty dollars plus shipping over on facebook marketplace and i actually only paid about two dollars for that so i will make a sixteen dollar profit on that little picture you guys hear that so if you see i have water machine in the shed i keep like running out of water when i'm out here and i'm like i want a water machine well i had to get a fancy water machine and it makes ice and it makes like the soft ice which i love like crunching on so it's filling up with ice now because i just got it set up earlier and got the water and so i'm excited i know it whatever i'm excited about a water bottle you know happen and then I shouldn't have sold this this cheap. I probably shouldn't have sold it at all. I should have given it to the free people. This is a nativity scene. I will show you a couple of pieces from it. There's one, it's like 11 pieces. There's another one. There's a camel. Anyways, it's a ton of pieces that are all breakable and I sold it for $22 and I should not have. I would have preferred to give it away rather than sell it for $20. And I'm not really sure how that price got so low, to be honest. Um, I think it might have been like me trying to reprice stuff and I did that one wrong because I originally had this at $100, which I would be okay packing and shipping. And somehow it made its way over to Facebook Marketplace for $21 and that's gonna be a pain in my butt to ship. And then I have this United States Giants this is a patch, a vintage patch. It is a sew on, sold for $5 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. Watch her lots of patches because these little guys don't take up much room and they're really easy to photograph, list, and ship. And then there are four of these. You can see the other three right there. This is Covington Edition Avondale. I paid $4 for these and these sold for $20 over on Mercado. 
Safari. So this will be about a $13 profit on the four. Plate. Also sold this Kwanzaa cup. So this Kwanzaa cup sold for $5 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. It is a ceramic one. I bought like lots of ceramic stuff and I do have to wash it out. It's all yucky. Um, but I paid a dollar per box of a bunch of ceramics. So that'll pretty much all be profit. Facebook Marketplace only 5% fee. So we actually make almost five bucks because I only take out a quarter. And then got this cow. See this cow? for $1.99 at my local thrift store. Sold for $20 plus shipping over on Facebook Marketplace and we'll make about a $15 profit. And I will probably have to put that one into a trash bag. It might fit in my large polys, but might have to go into a trash bag. And I do have in my Amazon store in the link below, I have the link to like the giant polys I use for a lot of the blankets and bedding. And then I also have the link, you can see, I just got a new um, order of bubble wrap in from American Bubble Boy. For my large which i'm glad because i have this lovely nativity set that i have to this get. is a political map somewhere it says that the world political this one sold for five dollars plus shipping over on facebook marketplace we are pretty much nothing in so that's about a four dollar profit and then i also sold this is a really pretty dress really pretty the brand is Ace Vog. I almost should have kept this dress. I could have wore this to the rally. Probably couldn't hear me because I was covering up my mic with the dress. I said I should have kept it and I could have wore it to the rally. Really cute dress. It looks like brand new. I actually got it from a friend for free and it sold for $19 over on Facebook Marketplace. So I will see you guys knows it i will see you guys on friday with another video again i hope you enjoyed the live show i hope you have a great rest of your week happy hump day and i will see you on the next one bye guys Dig it deeper. keep digging it deeper